All right, ladies and gents. We got a little, little rippage there on the Conestoga. So I turned the truck in here at Fraley. And you may be asking, why would you do that for? Stay tuned. Got some brand new freight liners here. Got the old Pete here. Got a couple new freight liners down there as well. And I am not 110% sure, but I do believe that all of um, these trucks over here are either broke down or they're waiting to be fixed or they're waiting for a driver i'm not 100 percent sure it's like that one's waiting to be cleaned but uh my air gauge uh on the dash it broke it basically i thought the airlines were frozen or something um called roadside assistance and we got all these trucks now right here and again i don't know the 100 percent details of every single one of these trucks That one's got a red tag on it. This one's a brand new 2023. Looky, looky. Brings spanking new. Tag's already on it. Here's another Freightliner. Brand new. 2023. Now see, this has got some space in it. But my point in showing you all these vehicles And my vehicle was broke down and I'm a company driver and they're telling me they can't find me a truck. I'm just a little confused. Again, I don't know the full details. of these but to not have any vehicles to having so many vehicles on the lot again I don't know if there's issues with them or you know there's somebody else's or all I'm saying is the ones that I've looked at there's no belongings in it other than some trash and um, one of them had a red service, uh, out of service tag on it. So it tells me that one's probably flagged. If it doesn't have that red tag on it, I would assume that it's good. Got some brand new trailers here too. But all that being said for, they don't have a truck for me. So yeah let's talk about it so what's up everybody what is up i have been been running pretty pretty good here lately uh i wanted to do this video sooner but just you know life happens things happen but uh as if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, 
you probably already know that I left Fraley & Schilling and went over to uh, uh, Loudoun County Trucking, which basically hauls the exact same freight um, coils, um, Conestoga, uh, as Fraley does. But we had, we just had too many issues, just to be honest with you. I mean, the issues consisted for me, the reason, I would say the top three reasons why I left Fraley. Um, people were super friendly. Uh, dispatcher had went from really great to kind of having his hands tied. And I'll, and I'll talk about that in another video. Um, I'll briefly talk about it here, but three top reasons why I left was I would say the probably number one was the uh, the truck I mean the, the truck if you're home every single weekend and you don't have any other passengers in in there uh, with you the truck would be would be fine you take out the passenger seat like 90% of people do put your refrigerator over there you still got a little bit of walk space between, uh, you know, the dash and your bed. But uh, 50, 52, 55 inches is what their sleeper berth is. So basically, it's a day cab with a sleeper. Um, there's no cabinet space. There's no cabinet space. I mean, as far as so... It, it's just, it was just super confined, and and that and that's fine if you're home every weekend or if you're by yourself and, and don't have any other people to ride with you. But most of you know that you know my wife's in the truck with me, so that was something that was super you know important to me. I didn't really even realize how small it was because you know we took our dogs. Um, we had two Cocker Spaniels when I worked for Heaven Hill uh, NFI and that truck was frowned. It was, it was a, a Freightliner. It was um, uh, it wasn't a, a, a double sleeper, a condo. Uh, didn't have a 72 inch sleeper um, but it was it was nice. I mean as far as it was spacious where the dogs can sit over here they can have their bed and we wouldn't have to worry about getting up, stepping on them to get into the bed. And that was what Fraley's, uh, that's what their trucks is. Now, in the video you just now saw, they've got some new trucks in. And um, they're a little bit different color uh, because they actually Freightliner messed that up. Uh, but instead of sending those back, they kept them. And that's... Hey, if I'd have got if, if if I would have got one of those trucks right there, to be honest with you, I'd probably never left uh, because that was my number one issue and my number two issue being broke down. Um, the Kenworths, the the Peter Belts they have, Packard Motors, they're they're. I've I've never had any good issues. I mean. Get, never had any luck with them they constantly i mean I, like within so i was with them for nine months and in nine months i broke down probably i don't know three or four times that that I mean that really really affected you know affected my wages as far as you know i was stuck in uh, Muscle Shows, Alabama, for four days. Um, they, you know, they put me up in a hotel and all that stuff, but away from the family, didn't even go home, and that's 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 okay. And when things happen, I get it. But when an issue happens with your truck, and you don't know your 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 pressure as far as your primary and your secondary that goes to your trailer uh, and your gauges just they they go haywire I mean they're like I'll put a picture up here you can see it check it out um, 
I sent it to my safety manager and said, hey man, I don't, I mean like, I, I really don't feel comfortable driving this truck because I don't know what my, my gauges are reading to my air. Now, for those that has been trucking, you understand, but for those that have never been trucking or getting into trucking or whatever, you know, when you're, when you're, you have an air leak in your trailer brakes and it's down to 60 PSI, your alarm sounds. Then from 60 PSI to 25 pounds PSI, at that point, your trailer brakes automatically pull. They, they throw. And what's that gonna do? You're gonna get locked up. It's gonna, it's gonna basically act like you per, push the emergency brake on your car um, without really having any advance notice for that. You know, I've had air leaks before. You know, your, your pressure is within 120, 25 pounds, stays at that pressure and goes up and down depending on going up hills because the air transmission, air brakes, all this stuff right here. But when I took it in to have this looked at, the maintenance at Knoxville Terminal told me that that has been an issue with the PACAR uh, T680s Kenworths um, for about four or five months. They've got three on back order that they've had for three months and mine would be on another back order just because of the, the pack art, the, the parts and stuff like that. They just can't get them. So, but he said that other people are, are going ahead and driving it. So you can go ahead and drive it if you want to. So I was like, <laughs> that's just dumb. I mean, like, this is dumb. So I sent a message from or to my safety manager and told him what he had said and he said i'll put that text up here too i mean he he said i wouldn't drive the damn thing i mean he he wouldn't he wouldn't drive it um so i took it back over to the terminal i was at alcoa when all this happened my, with my gauges and, and i mean everything that was going on so I took it from Alcoa, left Alcoa, straight over to uh, uh, to the Knoxville Terminal, called dispatcher, let them know what was going on, and told him, I said, man, I just, you know, I've got, I've got a week of vacation already. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and, and plan on me taking my vacation days, that way I can get paid because I know I'm going to be downtime. The guys already told me there's going to be a downtime of, of, of three to four months on the parts getting in. So either I'm going to go into another truck that I'm not going to be pleased with or wait. Now, when I told my dispatcher this, that all about this, this the truck gauges and all that stuff, you know, they didn't have any other trucks. But as you saw in the video before, there was trucks lined up. Now again, I don't know, like I said in the video, if they was already committed or, you know, whatever it may be. But I mean, if, if you've got a company driver and you've got trucks available, whether they're committed or not, it would appear to me that you would want those trucks to be moving, making money for you as a company driver. That's just my perspective. So, third thing is the dispatch now the dispatch is uh, you know my guy was 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 super great um, probably about two or three months ago they had so so basically how they did it before was the planners gave the loads to the dispatch then the dispatch put the loads on the drivers as they needed or as they wanted to run. Well, they got some new planners in there and they basically took that privilege of the dispatchers of giving it to the drivers of saying, no, this is what we're gonna give the drivers, the planner without really ever talking to them or whatever. Now, when I say I was at Alcoa, 
and when I left and with my gauge it started messing up and stuff so what really ticked me off is I went through so the 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 load the point the load that they gave me had already been uh, have already been somebody was on the hill getting that load now my dispatcher wasn't in at that time as far as so I actually spoke with the planner April I think her name was um, and I said what do you have right now this loads already been taken away well she gives me another load now get she she's the person that initiates the loads on there to the drivers at this point so I was like, all right great so she gives me the load I go up that loads taken as well so at this point I'm thinking like she's the planner she put the load on somebody else knowing she did that but gave me that number and would not answer my call for 30 to 45 minutes until my fleet manager got in and he had to call me and tell me that they didn't have that load ready that they'd have to give me something else so when i started my truck or turned it on to go over back around to get on the scale that's when my gauges were all messed up so at that point, I'm, I'm like mad from the disc load, mad from the gauges, doing it. So I went go straight over there, and I'm, I'm, I'm just, yeah. This video is gonna be super long. I apologize, but get with me. Message below if you got any questions. I'm gonna come out with another couple of videos here just to kind of talk, you know, some more about, but. You know, since I've been with Loudoun County, I mean, I can, it's, yeah, it's been great. I mean, the, the trucks that I've got, I mean, the truck I got, the trucks they have, um, is they have the 72 inch sleeper in there. Now they're mid roof, which is fine. They're not double bunked or anything, but some of them is condo double bunked. Why you would particularly want that? unless you're running team or you know something like that i don't i don't know but uh, i'm super happy with 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 loudon county um they've been great to me they have not lied anything every i mean like uh have they have they kept me running yes have they i mean today is saturday in my home no but did i know that this probably would happen yeah i did but they told me that hey since you've done this right here and we didn't get you back on the weekend you know take you know a couple days off and just let me know when you're going to come back on the road so everything is super convenient um i'm super happy with them this is a company that i can say literally i'm, I'm gonna be here this is this is where i'm gonna be um i got a 53 foot trailer conestoga uh, that way if i wanted to run out west to california washington or whatever um, I don't have to worry about reloading because of some places does not want to reload on a 45 like lumber or whatever on a 45 foot trailer um, so yeah super happy super pleased with them got a Volvo um, here 2019 it's got 216,000 miles on it um, it's hey I'm happy I can't ask for anything better great fleet manager uh jesse he's he's been i mean like yeah he's been top notch um but i run i mean like I, I do what i say i'm gonna do and i've done that since i've been here and and that's the reason why i've got some of the loads that i've got like last week i mean almost 2500 dollars in revenue for the week and i was you know I, this this week right here around the colorado and i was just kind of going over with jesse i said man if i can you know if i can reload and unload every day and be home on friday and still make twenty five hundred dollars that's what i want to do versus going out colorado and you know being without my wife or whatever but now if i'm with heather she's in the truck with me you know let's 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 you know let's go out west let's go to colorado let's go to california you know whatever it may be but he understands that um, home time is not an issue. I get 
as just much home time with them, if not more, than I did with Freely because I'm running that 75 Minster back to Tennessee, 75 Minster down to Lebanon, Tennessee. I mean, just boom, boom, boom. And I live in Lexington. Now, the big thing is where I live at, my home time's really good. I'm not saying everybody's home time's gonna be like that, but where I'm at and I live at, hey, I can't complain. So, video super long. I'll get some more videos out here for you. Love you guys. And they're giving a $5,000 uh, sign-on bonus right now at Loudoun County Trucking. Um, I'll get $3,000 if you put me down as a reference, Jason Priest, P-R-E-E-C-E. -E -E. Holler at me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Hey, super great company. And um, $2,000 on your first uh, week of deliveries as far as um, versus giving you 1,000, 500 here, 500 there. You get $2,000, boom, right off the bat on your first week's uh, paycheck for your, uh, your first load. But give me a shout out, comment below, and we'll see you here shortly.